another 15th century architect and also sculptor was Michelozzo di Bartolomeo. But just call him Michelozzo. This is Michelozzo of, or the son of, Bartolomeo. So if you call him Bartolomeo, you're naming his father, not him. Michelozzo was a Florentine architect and sculptor. And we're going to look at one uh, of his works, which is the which is the Palazzo Medici, the Medici Palace. Uh, this was begun in 1440. And I first should define palazzo. I think we say palazzo and we think palace and we think something like an emperor or a king. Um, but a palazzo is simply a large town house, you know, the townhouse to a wealthy family. Um, their country house would be a villa. This is sometimes known as the Palazzo Medici for its original owners. Uh, it was commissioned by Cosimo de' Medici, sometimes called the father of his country, or the head of the uh, family in the uh, mid-15th century. And sometimes it's known as the Medici-Riccardi Palace because the Riccardi were the later owners and they did add sections to uh, this building. And so here's a reconstruction of it uh, with the original design by Michelozzo. And as you can see at the bottom level there are three openings and these were three portals that were open. Uh, the bottom level was the Medici Bank. This was where they worked. Uh, and you know there is a tradition in Europe and you know some people today um, Say you, you know, say you're a pharmacist, you have an apothecary shop, you might live over your shop. You might not, but you might. Um, and certainly at this time they did. Uh, and so the upper layers, uh, and so the upper stories are where the family lived. Uh, what we would call the second floor, but in Europe it would be the first floor. You'd have the ground floor and then the first floor is the Piana Nobile. Uh, that's where uh, the reception's rooms and um, you know the um, head of the household bedrooms. You know these would be uh, the main rooms, and then up above would be the smaller bedrooms, and things like that. Um, so this corrects the proportions, if you will. Uh, and the uh, Riccardi, the Riccardi added two more bays or sections uh, to make it an even larger building. And here we're looking at the lower level, close up, and you can see that these open arches were filled in with a doorway and with windows. And this was done in the uh, 16th century, around 1517. Um, this was when the Medici became the rulers of Florence. So they didn't want you know, the bottom part of the palace uh, being open to people just to walk in. Uh, and now they were rulers, so uh, you, know, you didn't have to come in and do your banking business. Uh, the Medici actually did move from the Palazzo Medici to the um, Palazzo Vecchio, the old palace, the city hall, and then they moved to this huge, giant palazzo on the other side of the river known as the Pitti Palace. Um, there is some thought that the Pitti Palace may have been the design that Brunelleschi designed for the Medici and Cosimo just said, no, this is too lavish, this is too big, uh, you know, we, you know, she keep a low profile. <laughs> uh, but uh, his great-grandchildren didn't agree. So this becomes a more private household and eventually sold to the Riccardi. You know, the proportions were slightly different. It wasn't as long. But you can see vertically these three stories with a very heavy cornice that essentially punctuates the top of it, tells you that's the top. Um, you have this horizontal string course or molding that divides 
the building into three sections. The business section at the bottom, the bank, uh, the Piana Nobile, the main story or the, at the middle level, and then, you know, the third story above it. Here we're looking up at the cornice and you can see that the artist has used classical motifs. Uh, you can see these cornice with, uh, you know, these supports. And then down below them in the molding, you have this circular uh, shape. That's the egg. <laughs> and uh, the pointed shape between them is the dart. And that is the classical egg and dart design or motif that goes around the molding. You have the three stories of the buildings with a different level of roughness of the stone. The bottom level is this very rough stone where the joints are emphasized, it kind of uh, sticks out a bit. This is known as rustication. And it is something that's seen in some classical buildings. Above it, you have smoother stones where you can still see the joints, but they're smooth. They're not sticking out. No more rustication. And then the smoothest is at the top. So there's different ways that they're distinguishing the different levels. Now, the rustication has those rough projecting stone blocks with the very visible joints. And this is an influence from classical buildings. Um, in ancient Rome, it was supposed to express gravitas. You know, literally gravity, something heavy, or dignity, which is essentially what gravitas means. And now we're going to go through those arches and look at the interior courtyard. This has a kind of atrium or courtyard in the center. Um, and so you have this you know, view out to the street, but inside, you know, it's much more open. Uh, the courtyard is square, and it has many classical motifs, both in the classical columns and the round arches, and also some of the decoration where you have uh, decorative um, swags. Uh, these are these sort of garlands that uh, curve up. Uh, and a little uh, relief sculpture uh, in uh, stucco going around the uh, entablature, around the horizontal member of the uh, of the courtyard. Here you can see it a little closer. And there is a statue. Um, it's a statue now of Apollo. Uh, but originally, uh, Donatello's David was here. Uh, I said this is possibly the original site of Donatello's David. Maybe not right there, right in front of the doorway. Uh, possibly in the center of the atrium. But we do know that it was um, in the Medici Palace. And here you have a closer view of the decoration. It's called... called Scravito. And uh, you can see where the word graffiti <laughs> comes from. Um, it's decoration that has been scratched through uh, a darker layer to reveal the lighter colors beneath. And you can do this in you know, clay or in stucco. Uh, you just have to have your lower layer and uh, something light, and then you put an upper layer below it, and then you just scratch through to get your design. And that is Michelozzo's Palazzo Medici in Florence.